Academic semester to kick off with a good start as government continues the 50% mandatory attendance rate for schools. And sadly, Abdel Hakim Dalili, the Afghan ambassador to Qatar, dies of cardiac arrest. The second sequel of the controversial Wonder Woman movie raises questions. Finally, Qatar Charity offers Quran lessons for children of Asian expats. Hey, this is Farah and here are the top stories making headlines today. Promising news in Qatar as education authorities say it is safe to continue the 50% capacity for students attending schools in person. The blended learning system means students will continue to rotate between in-class and online learning throughout the week in the upcoming academic semester. This comes as Qatar slowly yet surely gravitates back to post-pandemic normalcy. Into more painful news for the diplomatic community in Qatar as reports confirm the death of the Afghan ambassador to Doha on Tuesday. Abdel Hakim Dalili was hospitalized on Monday after suffering a cardiac arrest and sadly died the following day. Dalili played an active role in improving relations between Afghanistan and Qatar and most recently helped facilitate historic inter-Afghan and peace talks in Doha. Questions have been raised over why the Wonder Woman sequel has yet to be banned in Qatar despite the first movie being prohibited by authorities. The movie stars Gal Gadot, an Israeli actress that previously served in Israel's army and has publicly supported the occupation of Palestine. Read more on the controversy surrounding Gal Gadot on Dohanews.co. And finally, Qatar Charity has launched al Qaeda Nurania program to help Asian expat kids in Qatar memorize the Holy Quran. The gesture of goodwill aims to help the children improve their Arabic reading and writing skills and is designed for students aged 6 to 14 years old. That was it for today's roundup, but for more, don't forget to check out our website.